Keep watching Charis TV. Lift her up again. You tolerated a lot. You don't want to listen to anybody. I was hearing that you don't want to listen to anybody. And uh, you told yourself this place is your home. Yes. Eh? That's true. Yes, that's, that's true. Yes. Uh, you told yourself. It's because I'm seeing you getting married here. Amen. No accident here. Don't have fear. You hear me? Don't have fear. You understand? Yes, God sir. is protecting you. Thank you, sir. Nothing will happen to you. Let me just, let me touch you here. When I'm praying for you, I'm hearing something like Vuma. Yes, it's, huh? it's my surname. V Vuma. Yes. You know, I'm hearing that all the Vuma people, they've been attacked. Amen. You hear me? Yes. So, but you, God, will give you the grace to break this case. Amen. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. This case of marriage will be broken through you. Amen. To Thank all you. your sisters, they must be free wherever they are. Amen. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So, I was just hearing this thing. I don't know. I don't know what is that. I was hearing Thank something like Vuma. Thank and you. I saw when you are very small like this, I see you going to a place called Mkaele. Yes, I started there. Huh? Yes, I went there. So God will give you success. Amen. Thank you. You're blessed. Thank you. Today during the service, the man of God located you and ministered upon your life. I'd love that you please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Uh, I'd first like to confirm that everything he said is true because the first thing that he asked of me was if I, I was from a Vuma family and then I told them yeah it's true so he said we are I have like three older sisters and I'm the youngest so we all not married and then he said um, I'll be the first one to break the curse of marriage so I, 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 I confirm it to be true because it's been long and we've been having difficulties in relationships and there seemed to be nothing that has been working out so yeah and then the other thing that he said it was regarding my success because he asked me uh, if I studied at Umkale on my high school and then I also confirmed because it used to be hard like it's far from home so I would usually like walk long hours so yeah and currently I'm, I'm just holding on to the promises of the promotion that they once told me about so I confirm everything to be true. So with the issues of um, relationships, you did say that not only did it affect you, but it also affected your siblings. Um, how did it affect you in particular, if you do remember? Well, most of the times I would be in relationships with my neediness and it would break me because I would expect a, a father from a guy or I would expect everything from a person who also can't give me everything. So it has been failures because I've went in with too much expectations without actually um, knowing that it's only God that can fulfill me. Yeah. And how would you encourage somebody who is currently going through what you went through? I think the only thing there is is to always put God first. That's the only thing because that's the only thing I'm also still hanging on to. I want to pray for your children. Come here. I want to pray for your children. Thank you, Lord. You hear me? Yes. Because you've been praying for them. Your children Every are struggling time. too much. Every time. Huh? Yes. So after this, I believe your children will be free. Oh, thank you, Lord. Tell them that they'll get jobs. Because oh. it looks more like every one of you. It's like they're fighting your spirit. That is my prayer. Nothing is working, but things will work. Thank you, Lord. You're free. Brother, these strange dreams, eh? They're strange dreams, eh? Yeah, they're coming eh? from Saturday. Eh? From Thursday. From Thursday, you're dreaming strange dreams. Yes, sir. Yeah, because they are blocking what you are trying to do. I cancel them. I cancel them. You must pray for your brother. Okay. Where is he? He's that side. 
Bray, let him come here. Get up. You must pray when you sleep. You yes. hear me? You, are, you have got bad dreams. Yes, I huh? do experience that, yes. Mm, you have got bad dreams, and you must pray to break the spirit of your father. Yes. You hear me? Yes, I'll do Remember that. Remember what happened to the family? Yes. You know, there were some things that were being done on the corner. Yes. You know, like charms and everything. Yes, you I You must that. pray. Yes. You hear me? Yes. So if you pray, you'll break the spirit of charms that has been there for a long time. Yes. And I believe God will also give you a house. Amen. Because Amen. Been praying for that. Thank you. God loves you, brother. Amen. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Makaninisa. With me here today is my brother, who was located during the service by the man of God, Prophet Andrew Simono, who ministered upon his life. So kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Teboho Makumula. I'm currently staying in Tembis. Today during the service, the man of God located you and spoke to you. I'd love that you please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Uh, he was praying for my sister, then uh, he called me, then I came there and he told me that I'm experiencing bad dreams, I'm dreaming bad dreams. I said yes, it's true. Then he said there was something that was, that was done on the side, in my family side, in my father's side, uh, like charms. Yeah, I remember there was a time back then, I think it was 2007 or eight. Uh, they called a the witch doctor. Then there were some things that were performed there. So I always believe, uh, even yesterday I was thinking about that, uh, that uh, this thing, it really affected us. So he told me to pray about it, then I will overcome. And he also said uh, he believes that God will give me a house. So I want to thank God for all that, yes. And how has that affected you? Uh, it has brought, many people in my family are not working. Uh, there is stagnation, you know, many things are not going right. But I believe after this prophecy, we are free. Yes. And how do you feel that today you are located and the men of God ministered upon your life and declared deliverance and restoration? I wasn't expecting to be located, but I'm very happy because it has happened. You know, When we wait upon God's time, it will come at the right time. So I believe this is the right time as it has been revealed. And I believe we are redeemed. Amen. Yes. Thank you. You hear me? Yes. You've got problems. Yes. Huh? Yes. It's, it's right. like your job will be finished. Amen. You want your job to be finished? No, no. Huh? I do last time. No. Uh, no. But you know that there have been attempts of your job being finished. No, I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. My you manager have never said, seen, huh? My manager sent me an SMS yesterday. He said that there's a letter from the office that I must sign. I don't know, but I'm going to meet with him tomorrow Can morning. you hear what she say? The manager sent you a letter when? He said you've got yesterday. You, you, yeah, yes. I mean, I mean, on Friday. Huh? On, on Friday, he said on you've got a letter from the office that I must sign. You must I, sign the letter. Yeah, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't and you know. don't know what is the letter for. Mm, mm. Can you hear this? Mm. And now I'm praying for you. I want to pass. I'm hearing that there's a plan of terminating your contract. Mm. And. I was passing. God said, I must come back. I'm coming back to you. Mm. And there's a letter that came on Friday. Yes. And I was playing soccer on Friday. <laughs> Can you see how God works? Mm. And I'm sure no one knows about this letter. It's only probably the husband. So let us change this letter today. Amen. Can we change it? Amen. The power belongs to Jesus. Amen. I'm saying power belongs to Jesus. Amen. How many of you believe it can be changed? Amen. You believe? Amen. Instead of losing a job, let's say a promotion. Amen. 
Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Makananisa. And with me here today is my mother, who was located during the service by Prophet Andres Simono, who ministered upon her life. Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Okay, my name is Rosum Dube. I'm from Soshangube. Today during the service, Prophet Andres Simona located you and spoke to you. I'd love that you please tell us in detail what he said to you and please confirm it. Okay, uh, Prophet Andres today prophesied me. He told me about that my job is about to finish. Uh, then I was so shocked because, uh, because on Friday, my manager sent me in a WhatsApp. He said there is a letter that I must sign. But I don't know on the letter in uh, into So then he said I must come on Monday so I can sign the letter. So I don't know tomorrow it's Monday. Then I'm going to the office and then I'll um, I don't know. I will see when I get there the office. With the, what is the contents uh, contents of the letter? And how do you feel that the man of God today located you and ministered upon your life and reversed what the devil was planning to do? Yo, 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 I feel so happy, I feel so happy. Uh, the word of God uh, said we must believe in the words of the prophets because the prophets were sent by God. Uh, I believe tomorrow when I'm going to the office to sign that letter, the letter, if it, if, if it was a termination letter, is going to turn to be a, a promotion. I believe so and also I'm happy. Amen. And how would you like to encourage somebody who's going through what you went through? Uh, I would like to encourage people that they must come to church, especially the prophetic church, because uh, uh, the prophets, they know uh, what is going to happen tomorrow. And then if it is a church, it's not a prophetic church, I, I think uh, because I was next in Mpilo, but since we came to the prophetic church, you will know then I thank God for that. Amen.